Yes. <laughs> Dr. Millie in the house. All right. I appreciate that. The carnivore diet. Because of the heat. Honestly, you've really touched my heart. The interesting thing about fasting, and I've been teaching fasting on YouTube for several years now, yeah. and I think what happened in the fasting world is that everybody, once they discovered fasting, intermittent fasting, longer fast, they thought that was the answer. But if you look into the research, especially the New England Journal of Medicine, the most one of the most popular yeah. meta-analysis on fasting, it's exactly what you just said. It's the switching it's the metabolic yep. switching is where the magic happens, which means we got to love food. We got to eat great food, but we also need to practice different styles of fasting. And what I'm hearing from you right now, and the thought that you kind of elevated for me is that if a postmenopausal woman is biologically designed to have less calories, if she's yep. doing standard Western diet, she is setting herself up for more disease because she's working against her biology. Absolutely. So it's food environment. I talk about food environments from a, I think, cause it also just takes a bit of pressure off people feeling less guilty about what they've been eating. Like yeah. it's our, we're like animals. We live in a food environment that unfortunately, as everyone knows is excess calories and empty calories and probably way too high carb and like trans fat. Like, you know, there's lots of things working against us in our food environment. And if you, yeah, potentially it with the, because with menopause in very simple terms, there's a shift to insulin resistance. We lose insulin sensitivity. So estradiol during our reproductive years gave us an edge over men in terms of maintaining insulin sensitivity. You, obviously you can still become mm -hmm. insulin resistant even when you're in your reproductive years, but it's, it's less likely. And then with the drop in estrogen, which actually happens kind of later in the perimenopause transition, but with the drop in estrogen, there's a shift to insulin resistance and that you won't go all the way to insulin resistance if you have put in place a good food environment, if you're moving and maintaining muscle mass and fasting overnight and you know all the multiple things, then you're gonna come through it okay and not have insulin resistance. But if you, if you do develop insulin resistance during menopause or heading into menopause or at some point, it has real consequences. So I don't know, I kind of feel like, I think we have this to acknowledge our metabolism shifts with menopause. And we always think of that as a bad thing, but from an evolutionary perspective, that would have been pretty great actually. But yeah, lower. And, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I have so many thoughts on that. So, yeah. um, that would tell me then post-menopausal women, 